Hi, I'm Mac. How are you feeling today? Isn't today a great day? Well, I'm going to be your host, your friend, and your teacher. And we are going to learn lots of things about English. Good. Let's get started. First, let us take a look at what we have today. Hmm, let me show you. We're going to talk about making friends, learn how to make a paper aeroplane, we're going to meet my friend, the word machine. I'm also going to tell you about a uh, and n. And then we're going to listen to a story and sing a song. Let's make some new friends. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Just say hi and hello. Is that all you can say about yourself? Come on, say something more. Hi, I'm Iswan. Hello, I'm Lily. Hello, I'm Nurul. Hi, I'm Justin. Hello, I'm Usha. Hey, that's just your name. We're supposed to get to know each other. The way to do it is by telling us more about yourself. You know what I mean. Come on, try again, guys. Hello, I'm eight years old. I live in Kampung Baru. My name is Nurul. I'm Izwan Snaper. I'm studying at Sekolah Kebangsaan Bestari. I'm Usha. I'm the youngest in the family. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's more like it. Those are some of the things you too can say about yourselves. Of course, you can say other things too. That's a great way to make friends. You tell people about yourself and you listen to what they say about themselves. Oh. So this is a job for Spellman! Ball. Ball. Hello, I'm Mr. Hans. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a paper aeroplane. Let's get started. First, you need a piece of paper. Make sure the piece of paper doesn't tear easily. Place it on a flat surface, fold it in half to get a middle fold line. Next, fold the two corners over to meet the middle fold line like this. Now we are going to fold this pointed line towards the middle. Fold it a little farther up from the edge like this.
Next, fold these corners again to make the middle fold line. Now fold this little triangle over like this. Now turn the paper over and fold it in half like this. Now fold both flaps downwards like this. These are the wings. Next, lift the wings up and ta-da! Your aeroplane is ready for takeoff. I hope you have lots of fun flying it. But remember, always be careful because the tip of the aeroplane is pointed. Don't throw them in front of anyone. Thank you for joining me. Till we meet again, have a good day. Look at animals. There are wild animals and tame animals. Here are some of them. Cat. Dog. Cow. Rabbit Goat Fish Well, that's just six of them. Can you name other animals? Happy trying! Today, we are going to look at a and n. We use a and n for one person, one animal, one place, or one thing. A boy, a cat, a market, a pencil. An astronaut, an elephant, an office, an umbrella. Listen to these sentences. This is a boy. This is a market. This is a pencil. This is an astronaut. This is an office. This is an umbrella. Here are a few more examples. A car. A tree. An apple. An egg. One. 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 One, 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 one. Well, it's story time, and I have a very special story for you. 
I'm sure you're going to like it. It's called The Ant and the Dove. Just watch and listen. The Ant and the Dove. Charlie was a dove. He was a small bird with beautiful white feathers. He lived in the forest. He was kind and helpful. Everyone liked him. One morning, Charlie woke up early. As he was hungry, he flew from one tree to another to look for food. Soon, Charlie had a big smile on his face. Yes, he had found a big yellow fruit. It was at the top of a tall tree. Charlie ate the fruit. It was sweet and juicy. He was not hungry anymore. He was very happy. Just as Charlie was about to fly away home, he heard a little voice calling out. Help! Help! Help me! He looked down. He saw an ant struggling in the river below him. It was going to drown. Charlie quickly plucked a leaf and dropped it into the water. It landed near the ant. The ant climbed up onto the leaf. It was saved. Charlie heard the little voice call out again. Thank you! Thank you for saving me! Charlie smiled. He felt happy that he had helped someone. He waved to the ant and then flew away. A few days later, Charlie was out looking for food again in the forest. After hopping from tree to tree, Charlie found some small berries on a branch of one of the trees. Charlie started eating them. They were sweet and juicy. Charlie was very happy. He began to sing. A hunter who was passing by heard Charlie's singing. He looked up and saw Charlie in the tree. The hunter smiled, raised his gun and took aim at Charlie. The ant that Charlie had saved a few days ago saw what was happening. It quickly climbed up the hunter's leg and bit him hard. Yow! screamed the hunter. The gun went off, but the bullet missed Charlie. It hit the branch that was above him. Charlie was startled. He looked down and saw the hunter. He also saw the little ant climbing down the hunter's leg. Charlie knew that the ant had saved him. As he flew away, Charlie called out to the ant. Thank you! Thank you for saving me! The ant smiled and waved to Charlie. It was glad that it had helped someone who had helped it before. Do you know what happens when we join words together? We will get new words. They're called compound words. Let's see how this is done. Butter. Fly. Butterfly. Butterfly. Rain. Bow. Rainbow. Rainbow. Brush. Toothbrush. Toothbrush.
everyone. I had a really fun time, and I hope you did too. You did? Ooh, that's great. Join me in the next episode for more fun in learning English. Bye.